In this video, I'll give you an overview of the functions in the Molecular Builder, then show you how to edit bond lengths and bond angles, as well as creating new molecules by connecting atoms and molecule fragments. You can find the Molecular Builder in the Builder toolbar next to the Move tool. This puts us in Molecular Builder mode, which has its own control panel that's geared towards creating and editing molecules. Whenever you see a translucent sphere following your cursor, clicking will add or replace atoms in the configuration. You can build with any element from the periodic table, but the most common elements can be selected directly from the control panel. It's also possible to build with predefined fragments such as hydrocarbons and rings that can be selected from the fragment dialog. To select existing atoms and also bonds, there's instead a dedicated selection mode for the molecular builder. Making a selection of atoms allows you to use Ctrl C and Ctrl V to copy paste that selection to a new location under the cursor. When a bond is selected, the indices of the two atoms forming the bond are displayed in the control panel, and one or two auxiliary bonds are also highlighted depending on the local environment of the selected bond. The angles between these auxiliary bonds and the selected bond are then displayed along with the dihedral angle between the auxiliary bonds. To enable editing, static bonds must be activated. Normally, bonds are added and removed from the configuration dynamically based on proximity between atoms. While this may suffice for calculations that do not treat bonds explicitly, such as DFT calculations, others such as force field calculations require bonds that are uniquely defined and thus only intentionally added or removed. In other words, it requires bonds that are static. Upon activating static bonds, all existing bonds are first made static. Then we are also able to create new bonds by clicking and dragging in Add Atom Mode. Select the bond to edit its properties. It can also be removed using the cross button next to the bond distance. When any of the auxiliary bonds can be one of many possible, these can be selected by stepping through the possibilities. When changing the dihedral angle, notice that only atoms on the side of the blue bond rotate. Sometimes it can be visually more intuitive to rotate the other side, and so the bond can be flipped to achieve this. Finally, having static bonds also allows us to use Quick Optimize to clean up the geometry of the molecule. So now we have our ethanol molecule back to its correct shape. Now that we've gone through most of the controls, let's try to construct the first molecule. We'll start simple with a benzene ring. Select carbon from the control panel and notice that the carbon atom in the preview is passivated by hydrogen atoms. By default, auto-passivation is on, such that any atoms added to the configuration also come with passivating hydrogens. The geometry of the passivation can be changed, and in this case, we want to construct a planar configuration of carbons, so we'll go ahead and select sp2. Now, add a first carbon segment and start replacing hydrogens to make a ring. As you can see, upon adding the last carbon, the ring auto-completes itself. This is not always the case, as if we try to repeat these steps with sp3 carbon to make cyclohexane, we must manually add the final carbon-carbon bond to complete the ring. As a final example, let's try something a little more complicated, like tribenzonitrile. We can start by adding the central carbon with sp3 passivation, then use the fragment browser to add ready-made benzene rings. Notice that the preview molecule has an atom selected. This indicates that that atom is the connection point when the fragment is added to the configuration, and the connection atom can be changed by selecting in the preview. The arms also each have an additional carbon-nitrogen group attached at the tips, so let's go ahead and add those. Now, from the literature, this molecule should have a dihedral angle of about 150 degrees for each of the arms, so let's make the necessary edits. Finally, we run a bit of cleanup on the whole molecule, and then we're done. 